Welcome back people, we've got some more Fishing Planet for you guys again today, we are doing missions. We've done all the missions in all the newest lakes, but I've fallen back to some of the other lakes just to get those on the channel, so that way if anyone wants to do these missions you can do it. This is in the Netherlands, the mission is Ghent, I'm not going to pronounce the rest of it, but Exploration 2. <laughs> we've done Exploration 1, this is Exploration 2, so I've got all my gear all set up, I'm now over here on the right. For exploration one, I was there on the left, and now I'm over here on the right. I want to try over here and see how well we do, and um, yeah, just see what happens basically. So I'm gonna get set up, and um, I need to go pick up my rod stand. Nobody saw that, don't worry. Yeah, I'm gonna get set up. Oh, we're gonna cast out a few rods, and we'll see. Uh, we'll see what how far I'm casting I'll show you all of that good stuff I set a couple of markers so that way you guys can see it so over on the far left there's only two spots to fish in this place on the far right sorry I mean not left oh my gosh bubbles so we live stream we use face cam and mic anytime I make videos like this I just use the mic I don't bother using the face cam these are random videos that I just decide to finally hit record and get these missions done I've done so many missions so there's other missions you want to do do look across the channel I'm pretty sure you're gonna find it so I'm gonna try all different baits and we'll see what one works the best I also want to put on some some uh, what's it some shiners as well on one of them let's put shiners on this one real quick I've got a ton of different baits that I'm using, but I'm going to try and complete it with, with a set of free baits. At least that's my plan anyway. So I'm going to, with the other fish for the exploration one, we're only casting out around about 60 feet. So with this one, I'm going to go, yeah, do you know what? I'm just going to do that. 200 foot, 215. So I'm going to do it between 200, 200 to 220-ish foot. I'm going to cast it right out there really, really fast. So you're going to need to cast way, way out there. I've already done a little bit of fishing here. And I've noticed that I am catching okay. But when I cast it out further, it seems like I'm hooking up on them fish a little bit quicker. So shiners, um, I'm using shiners, minnows, small minnows, and I'm using cheese as well. So a combination of three different baits. Hopefully I'll be able to catch it with all of them free. So anything between 200 foot to about 220 is the distance that I'm casting. Using float rods in this place, uh, I've got to change that hook. Yeah, using float rods in this place don't work too well because it just pulls it to one side too much. So I definitely wouldn't recommend using float rods. Um, let's put some more small minnows on. So hash two. I need to check the other ones as well, actually, because I've literally just finished the the mission for exploration two. I don't know if I changed all the hooks. I know I changed some of them. If you're interested in fishing planet, it's a good reason to subscribe. When you hit no, uh, when you oh my gosh, when you hit the notification bell, make sure it says all, because otherwise, when the new updates for fishing planet come out, you're going to miss out on that. We always show new rods, new reels, new boats, new tackle, new gear, whatever there is new lakes and we always try and show new fish unique fish where to catch them certain fish i do a lot of different videos fishing planet is the main game i play i do play other fishing games and other games and we try and show new games that come out but i try it yeah but well, i don't try <laughs> fishing planet is the main game that i play more than anything else i always keep it up to date as soon as them updates come out i'm letting you know about the updates and i'm obviously showing you the update and buying dlcs and all of that good stuff so that's not a fish that we're after trophy idol though that's all right let's, we'll still take it okay so i'm i'm guessing i am gonna have to make a few edits into this one i'm pretty sure i am Wow, that was quite a cast, that one. 240 odd foot. As you can see, we are getting a lot of interest pretty quick, which is good. And that is just because I'm casting casting really far out there. When it's in close, I do get bites, but it takes a lot longer. But yeah, yeah, casting further out seems to be what you need to go for. I haven't bothered changing the time of the day, neither. I'm literally fishing from the same time as from straight after exploration one so there's the first one that we were after that's the Xander we got some more interest there wow this is pretty quick 
it does take a the only thing is it does take a little bit of time to reel in it is a little bit time consuming because obviously you casting that far out you could catch these fish closer in but yeah it's just gonna it's just gonna take a lot longer okay let's see if, is this a fish that we're after i don't think it is another xander okay let me cast near that windmill there there we go how far is that 224 you want to yeah I don't really want to go above 220 foot even though I can cast a little bit further than that I don't really want to let's put on some more cheese I'm using cheese in the chance to try and get that mullet the gray mullet so I've already done most of these missions on PS4 but I'm coming back to PC to do some of these missions so that way we can have these videos um, uploaded onto YouTube so that way it helps you guys do these missions I always show new missions in the new lake as soon as they come out I try and get that done as fast as I possibly can so I had to drop back and look at my YouTube channel and see what missions we have on there and which ones we don't and this was one that we didn't so here I am doing it now all right unfortunately I'm gonna have to make a few edits into this video so I bring you guys back when we get our next fish on here we go got another fish on so I was gonna plan on trying to use free baits <laughs> that didn't quite work out all right anyway put on some shrimps out there I actually cast right there in the middle at the top of my rod where you can see there I cast it straight towards that middle windmill there in the distance and we got a fish on I don't know if it's one that we need but oh it is perfect oh there you go European flounder and as you can see I haven't fished here on PC I have on PS4 so most of these fish that we catch other than the pike and the European eel are probably gonna end up being our personal best but that's a really nice looking fish though that's really nice looking fish I notice I keep getting snagged up all right well there you go three left to go I bring you guys back when we get another one on and we finally got a bit of interest wow I've really jumped days forward <laughs> about day 11 now I don't know why it really slowed down really bad on the last day that we was fishing and then after that we've had a lot of cloudy days a lot of rainy days so I jumped forward to a sunny and cloudy day again just so that way I was able to start catching fish again anyway the thick lip grey mullet we finally got that so European eel now and the northern pike is left to catch so I bring you guys back in when I get another fish on and we got a fish on so me using the medium spoon I was thinking this was going to be pike but I don't know it's really small unless it's a tiny little pike you know it's a tiny little pike so we obviously we can catch this on the on the small minnows but I wanted to mess around using the spoon see if I could get any interest with that and there it is so I can't cast this rod too far but I'm still in the same location but instead of those three windmills there's two windmills over there so I cast it to the one that was on the right I cast as far as I could and yeah just been messing around with this one doing twitching which is where I keep my finger on the reel so I'm only can get 130 foot cast not any further than that keeping my finger on the reel and keep on flicking my rod like that to twitch all right I bring you guys back for the last one here we go I really wanted to try and catch all these fish on just free baits but yeah unfortunately it doesn't always go <laughs> it doesn't always go to plan anyway small minnows I'm not sure if this one is a European eel because I don't know the bars on the side there are up a little bit that yeah they are up a little bit makes me think it could be someone else maybe a Xander or a pike but let's see you never know you never know oh it is perfect there we go Whew. three pound not bad we call that under small minnows I actually did start putting out some medium cut bait as well as small cut bait but we ended up getting it on on the small minnows so that's pretty decent so there we have it don't keep it because um, you get a fine of seven thousand yeah definitely make sure you release it no matter what even by having the best license so Ghent exploration 2 has been complete 1700 cash one bait coin and the casting spoon hash 2 slash 0 there which I've already got that but I guess you can never have enough of them so that's that one that one did take a short minute uh, is there any more of this place
Okay, no, so that is it. Just exploration one and just exploration two. That's all there is of this place. So, hope you guys did enjoy this one. It did take a little bit. It, it was a little bit time consuming, I've got to be honest, because I wanted to get that sunny and cloudy day rather than fishing on the rainy day or the just cloudy day. I wanted it to be sunny and cloudy. Seems like it works best that way. Any comments, leave it below. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. Subscribe if you're new. Turn notifications on. Don't forget to drop a like on the video as well. Let's us know you're still enjoying Fishing Planet and this video helped you out. we we'll catch you people again soon for some more fun and games. I'm out.